To calculate the square footage of your room, multiply the length times the width. Since we do need to do a bit of math, let's keep it simple and imagine that we have a 12 foot by 12 foot room with one door and two windows. We'd multiply the length of 12 feet times the width of 12 feet to equal the square footage of 144. If you're purchasing flooring for your room, like carpet, tile, or wooden planks, you would use this number to determine the amount of flooring that you would need to buy. We always recommend that you add an additional 10% to ensure you have enough material in case a tile breaks or you have a tricky recessed area where you might need a little extra carpet. In our example, we know that we have 144 square feet, so we would multiply that number by 1.1 to give us the extra 10%. That gives us 158.4, so let's just round up and say we need enough flooring material to cover 160 square feet for this room. Your flooring manufacturer should provide information on how much material you'd need to purchase based on this number. For example, if you're purchasing boxes of tile and each box will cover 10 square feet, you would need to purchase 16 total boxes of tile. That's 160 square feet of floor divided by 10 square feet per box would equal 16 boxes of tile. If you're painting your room, you can use a similar calculation to determine the total paint needed for your project. For the walls, you're calculating the square footage of each individual wall. You would add the length of all the walls in your room and multiply that by the height of your room from floor to ceiling, since we're now working with the vertical aspect of the space. In our example, we have four walls that are each 12 feet long. So we'd add 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, which equals 48 feet. Then we'd multiply that number by the height of the room, which is eight feet, giving us a total of 384 square feet. This number represents the total surface area of all the walls that need to be painted. You'll likely be painting the doors and windows in a separate trim paint, so you'll want to subtract those elements from your calculation. A good rule of thumb is to subtract 20 square feet from your total for each door and 15 square feet from your total for each average sized window. In our example, we'd subtract 20 square feet for the door and 15 square feet for each window, so 384 minus 20 minus 15 each for the two windows equals 334 square feet. A gallon of paint covers about 350 square feet, so in this example, we'd only need one gallon of paint for our single coat. Side note though that you usually do need two coats of paint, so for our total project, we'd purchase two gallons. Say though that you had a larger room, it was 500 square feet of paintable wall. That's of course more than 350 square feet, so you'd need to purchase more than one gallon of paint for that single coat. To estimate the total needed, you would divide your total square footage of 500 by 350, which equals 1.4. So you would need 1.4 gallons of paint for a single coat. If you are planning to do two coats, you would need 1.4 times two, which equals 2.8 gallons, so you would want to purchase three gallons of paint to complete this project. One more thing. For ceiling paint, the floor and the ceiling should have the same calculation since they usually are mirror images of one another. We'll go back to our 12 by 12 room example where you would need enough ceiling paint to cover the 144 square feet for that single coat. If you are doing two coats, you would only need to purchase one gallon of paint because 144 times two equals 288 square feet, which is less than that estimated 350 square feet that a single gallon of paint will cover. If you're confused, don't stress, math can be hard. We've included a really easy calculator with each of these formulas in your workbook. You just have to plug in your room specific numbers.